Welcome to the session on engineering graphics. In today's session, we are going to see the projections of cone. The problem statement given here is a cone of diameter 50 mm and axis length 60 mm resting on HP with one of its generator. Draw the projections of the cone when the axis of the cone appears to be inclined at 50 degrees to Vc. So here the cone is given of having diameter 50 mm and axis length 60 mm. So this is the cone which you can see uh, where the O1 is the axis and E01 is the radius or you can say the half of the diameter. So here you can see this OE is one of the line on the curved surface of the cone. Basically this cone is a solid of pre-evolution where you have this O01 E triangle evolved about O01 and you are getting this cone. So for such uh, solids we will not have the slant edges. So it will be having one curved surface and on that curved surface we have to draw some apparent lines or the auxiliary lines or we can call them as imaginary lines. So OE is one of the imaginary line on this curved surface and we call this OE as generator. So if we draw number of lines on this uh, curved surface from the circumference of the base we will be calling them generator. So for a uh, cone uh, we have what the circle as the base and we will divide this circle into eight equal parts so we will be getting eight equal points on the circumference of the circle and from each point we will be getting one generator so if we are having eight points we will be getting eight generators and EO is one of the generator which is shown here so if you have got eight points on the circumference A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H then you will be having eight generators like A, O, B, O, C, O, D, O and so on till H O so we will be having 8 generators and U is one of the generators shown here. So if we go to the projections of the cone, we have to start with the XY line and the top two of this cone will be a circle. Okay, so circle of diameter 50. So diameter 50 circle you will be drawing it and you will be dividing this circle into 8 equal parts. So 8 equal parts which is horizontal diameter, vertical diameter and diameter at 45 degrees so when you do that one you will be getting the uh, circuit divided into 8 equal parts so from these points you will be drawing the generators so 8 points are there A, P, C, D, E, F, G, H so A, O, B, O, C, O, D, O, E, O, F, O, G, O and H, O are the generators so when we have what this is the front view uh, top view we will have the front view for this. So to get the front view we will project all the points. So first we will start with the axis. So axis is O1 we are projecting it and the axis length is given as 60 mm. So taking axis length 60 mm we are drawing the axis. So once we do this then we will be uh, uh, projecting remaining point that is A to H. So A, B, C, D E, F, G, H points we have projected here like this. So all the points have been projected and now while connecting these points to the apex O, okay, so while connecting these points to the apex O, we will be connecting only the outer generators that is AO and EO. Only AO and EO will be connected like this and remaining will be kept as it is okay you don't have to connect them just we have to take these points for the further uh, marking purpose so you have to keep this bs cg df as it is you don't have to connect these two points. or if you connect no problem but better to have only outer uh, edges or the outer surface which will be visible in the front view. So once you do this, the sec uh, second stage, when we go for the second stage, we have to take the input here is that this cone now resting on HP with its base. But they are saying that the cone is resting on HP with its generator. So there are different generators. So we can see this EO generator here, AO generator here and remaining will be the generator is present here but as we are showing this E as a resting corner we will be considering the generator passing through this E. So 
U is the generator. So now this cone is going to rest on HP with this EO generator. When this cone is resting on HP with EO generator, we will be getting the figure like this or the front view like this. So this cone is resting on HP with the EO generator. So EO generator is shown. So first EO will be drawing it. So EO will be drawing it and then you will be reconstructing this time. So when you have this EO, you can get this A, A dash. So you will be getting the triangle and remaining you can mark these points measuring their distances from here and you can cut the arc and you will be getting these points. So this is the second stage front view. So we are reconstructing the second stage front view from the first stage as shown where the cone is resting on HP with EO generator. So EO generator have been shown and it has been drawn. So this is the second stage front view. So once you complete the second stage front view, we have to get the top view of this. So to get the top view, we have to project all the points from the second stage front view and the first stage top view as shown. So all the points have been projected from the first stage uh, top view here and second stage top view here. wherever they are intersecting those points should be named as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So if you take the projector from A dash and from A it will be connecting here so this point will be A. So if you take from B dash and if you take from B you will be getting B point here and so on you will be getting C, D, E, F, G and H. Remaining is O and O. So all the points you have got it. Now we have to connect these points. So when we are connecting these points, we have to follow the procedure. Okay. So procedure says that we have to connect all the outer points. So outer points here are these. Okay. So when we say outer points, we have G, F, E, B, C, O. G. Okay, so here this is the base which will be having the curved surface. So first we will be connecting G, F, E, B, C. So instead of connecting these five points using R, we will be having the ellipse there, ellipse by center point. So we will be considering this O1 as a center point, this A as a second point and we will be connecting tangent to the generator of G. So this is the thing which we are drawn. Now we will be connecting this O to this curved surface. Okay, so we will not be connecting it to C because we will be having the curved surface. So we have to take tangent to this. So like this you will be getting the tangent symbol. Once you get the tangent symbol you have to click it there and it will be getting connected or else you can have the tangency here. Tangent, this you want tangent to this. So like this you will be getting the tangent. So it will not be connected at C point but it will be connected somewhere here. So if you trim this extra portion you will get to know that this line is getting somewhere here. So you have to draw the line tangent to this ellipse. So once you complete this, so similarly you have to get the tangent to other side as well. So like this you will be getting the tangent to other side. Okay. So you get some line here somewhere. We should not have any uh, relation point to it. Okay, so this is a tangent. So if you see here, if there is any extra line, you can erase it. Okay, so you have completed exactly on the line, so till here. So you have got the line here. So this is the second stage front view you have got. Okay, so this is the axis you can mark it as axis. Okay, so no problem. You can show it as an axial line from this to this. Okay, so you can select this line as well and you can marked as O1 in the axis. O1 should be the axis. So once you complete the second stage talking, you have to go to the third stage. Now while going to the third stage, we reconstruct this figure over there. So to reconstruct this figure over there, what we do? We have to take the inclination with respect to Vp. But here the axis of the cone appears to be inclined at 50 degrees to Vp. So they are given the apparent inclination. Wherever the term appears comes, it shows the apparent inclination. So this is the apparent inclination of the axis we have. But the true length of the axis is 60 and in the second stage it is showing it as 55.38 which is the apparent length. So when you have a true length, apparent length and apparent inclination so that time we go for normal method true length apparent length and apparent inclination we go for normal method 
and we reconstruct the same uh, code over here. So second stage top view will be reconstructed as third stage top view here with axis inclination as 50. So this would be the reconstruction. So once you reconstruct this over here, you will be taking projectors from all the points like this. So once you take the projectors and if you name all the points here, so again you have to follow the procedure which we had followed earlier. So that is connect the outer points. So again here the outer points you cannot connect using ellipse command. So you have to use a curved line. Okay. So you have to use a curved line. So you have to go to the curve and you have to select A to B to C okay, to D then to E then to F. Okay. So you have to connect the end points H a and complete so you have got the ellipse here okay so are the oval shaped structure you cannot use the ellipse command here so once you get this then again you can go to the line you can take the line from here to e because it is resting on o uh, sorry uh, the line we have to get it from this o dash to e so o dash to e is the resting edge okay so o is the resting edge that you have drawn and now from this o we have to draw the tangent to this tangent okay so you have to get the tangent to this and you have to place it okay so while drawing you will be able to get the tangent to this so to place it and then you can have the axis as well there okay so you can have the line and you can get the axial line it is 0 0.05 enter and you can have the axis for O to O. So if you connect you will be getting the axis and this will be the front view. The same thing have been shown here. Okay. So here the complete the front view by joining the points and you are using the curved line for the base and you are drawing the tangents to the base from the F. So this will be the complete solution and you can represent this. So where the diameter of the cone is shown as 50 mm which is given here axis is 60 mm which is shown here, uh, shown here or given here it is resting on one of its generator the EO is the resting generator and then you are getting the apparent inclination as 50 15 is the apparent inclination for axis that's why you have gone for normal method and you have shown the thing so this would be the final solution for the given statement of cone problem thank you